You didn't ping back. You can't make that build in 10 seconds. Do it. No. I made one in 10 seconds. So, yes, you can. Now do what he says. I already have a female version of me getting slapped on the ass. Is that not enough? Do it. I need cat made Reginald. No. Yes. Get Drifter to draw it for you. I don't have any bright dust. I wasted it all on weapon ornaments for Christmas. Sounds like a big load of not my problem. Change it to a cat girl. No. Yes. You can't make me. But I can annoy you until you do. Now do it. I'll just mute you then. No, oh, come on, you bitch. You can't silence the law. I'm the sassiest bitch. The law can suck my cabal. I'll make an exposed video. Don't bloody test me. Expose me for what? Being horny? Change to cat girl. No. Yes. Never. To my friend in build crafting, Reginald. You disappoint me. You disappoint me more than chocolate bars with raisins. You disappoint me like the mother of every Reddit moderator. To think you couldn't think of a build with this big shot fusion rifle? Bah! Do you not realize what this weapon is? What the damage it can cause? What therapy it would require to reassemble the shattered egos of the poor mangled self-esteems of our enemies? constructed in a mere 9.38 seconds not only incorporates one of the most feared weapons in the Crucible's history into a team scorching nuclear warhead, but also grants the Jotun a fifth perk in its already massive catalog of catalyzed beauty. I need that sharp tongue of yours to assist me in this matter, to disguise the components of my build so that no man, woman, or Cheeto-fingered child ever lays eyes on scoreboard-topping power that is my build. We shall remind the world that nothing shall prevent us from creating the highest quality and most deadly concoctions, not the true vanguard, nor someone who thinks he's some kind of a cool guy, and not even nuclear fallout will hold back our designs. I shall begin by detailing the intricacies of this weapon. While I know we tend to disdain the mere thought of even being within 10 meters of any of the top 10 weapons, sometimes it does the crucible good to remember who the true evil geniuses of the sandbox are. The Jotun is like any other fusion rifle. Except instead of a spray of bolts, it fires one massive bolt. Instead of hitscan, it's a fear-seeking projectile. And instead of special ammo, it fires Space Jam DVDs. So in other words, it's nothing like the normal fusion rifles. The power of the Space Jam DVDs that it fires possesses the ability to seek out anyone that is currently not either slammed or welcomed to the jam, which due to the lack of rhythm in most Guardians is at least... Um, what is it? I find this jam, carry the two... 86%! Which means that Jotun will seek out and destroy with extreme prejudice any Guardian foolish enough to stand stationary and upright in the middle of a war zone! And Archibald with the field goal, the kick is up, and it's gone! You, the wielder, have the pleasure of playing long-range atomic whack-a-mole with the atoms of the enemy team. You will need to sling your ball of instant nope within at least pissing distance in order to trigger the aggressive tracking of the Jotun, and thus securing your kill. But be careful, while this addictive power is understandably hard to match, it does have its shortcomings. I recommend you draw the attention of the inquiries of your build to these shortcomings to keep their bloody mitts off my loadout! Without the ability to delete targets with hitscan, the Jotun is left to rely on Bungie's ever inconsistent netcode, and similarly will require the improvised explosive bullet train to delay its targets 1v1 with God until it reaches them. In other words, your charge time is actually longer than it appears. The further the target is, the more time they will have to either avoid or counterattack your spicy hate slinger. Accordingly, against enemies with more mental processing power than first generation Nokia's, it is advisable to change from the safety of cover before peeking and sending a signed and posted love letter to the back of their skulls. If you possess the catalyst, which randomly drops at the end of activities, this fusion-shaped skill equalizer will charge your shot slightly faster when within the punching range of two or more enemies, and kills will apply 20 or 40 scorch stacks to enemies near your recently unwilling sacrifices, which sets up perfectly to grant the fifth weapon perk of the Jotun. This 
is Kepri's horn. Besides looking like the underside of a Chuck E. Cheese dinner table, it possesses the unique ability to grant all of your barricades a double wave of solar energy. When this snope wave is created, it will travel forwards then back at a consistent distance, or stopping if it collides with any obstacles. This flame wave deals exactly 200 damage split equally between the two halves. This serves us both as a hilarious Pop Goes the Weasel surprise of incineration for your enemies, as well as a way of pushing targets back for cleanup. But a little forgotten fact is that this Hive Guardian scrotum also regenerates a portion of your energy from solar kills, which, yes, includes the Jotun. This means that while we are playing the reverse firefighter with the corpses of those who dare to oppose us, we are quietly farming the mountains of salt from their deaths to fuel our Uno reverse card aflame. But oh, we have even more to destroy with this arrangement. While we are still in the season of Keidel's Daddy Issues and Solar 3.0, we have access to the mod, Classy Restoration, which allows every time we cast a barricade to grant us healing. So your enemy team not only has to deal with the Costco wholesale-ass tons of barricades, but also you using them to recover your health as they stand by in horror. As all the work they did was for nothing. But why not stack more healing on top of our healing? Using the Sol Invictus aspect, we can grant every Scorched target or solar ability kill the pleasure of generating a sunspot, which, as of course you are aware, grants us even more healing, much to the frustration of our foes. And if you are feeling inclined to push this even further, then arm yourself with a throwing hammer and the Ember of Torches for a cure upon pickup, and a 10% increase in weapon damage for 10 seconds. Of course, this will attract attention to you, so in these moments, steal yourself and start quoting the Fitness Gram Pacer test. The joke is so old that you are bound to bore them from persisting. Lastly, mods and supporting weapons. I recommend any close-range primary weapon such as a sidearm, an SMG, or even an auto rifle. Run nothing for your Jotun for armor because of course you don't need targeting and flinching nor dexterity for a hip-fired heat-seeking missile. Okay, maybe a reloader mod. If you have your doubts about whether it is good for us to use such a weapon as this, always remember, it's not a war crime. It's called doing the right thing. With regards, Archibald Multitool the Seventh.